it's a big day at the outsider cabin. In fact, I've been dreaming of it for years. My dad and I have been prepping the log cabin for the arrival of my wife and daughter. The interior is far from finished, but we still wanted to make it as cozy as possible for them. Our first task of the day, after insulating the gables, was to clad them in cedar siding, which I'm in the process of making right now. moisture content of the lap siding was a little high at 20%, which is why I left them by the wood stove for a while before installing them. The good news is that white cedar is an incredibly stable wood, which means that it doesn't usually warp or crack as it dries. So either way, the siding should work just fine, although drier is always better. Anyway, after a full day of seasoning by the fire, the moisture content of the boards had dropped to around 12%, which meant that they were stable enough for installation. take a moment to thank Ritual for sponsoring this episode. Do you have the perfect diet day in, day out? Yeah, me neither. Ritual helps people fill in the gaps in their diet, 
no shady additives, fillers, or colorants. These two easy-to-take capsules provide 10 nutrients to support a strong foundation for your health. I chose Ritual because I have a physically demanding lifestyle. Whether it's slugging logs, hauling supplies, or scrambling up the cabin roof, I rely on Ritual to give my body the nutrients it needs. I trust Ritual because they are transparent with the ingredients they use and why. They even list where their nutrients are from and their environmental impact. Ritual multivitamins contain nine high-quality ingredients, from D3 to omega-3, which are difficult to get enough of every day, even with a healthy diet. Delivered to your door subscription is only a dollar a day. Right now, Ritual is offering my viewers 10% off their first three months. Fill in the gaps in your diet with Essential for Men, a small step that helps support a healthy foundation for your body. That's 10% off your first three months by going to ritual.com forward slash outsider10 and using code outsider10 at checkout. one we have the first piece done it's looking really good and uh, what we've been using is these patterns that I cut beforehand and that's what makes it go so quickly if you look here it says RGRS so that stands for the right uh, gable on the right side and that's the pattern for that and as well we have the second piece which says RGLS right gable left side uh, so all I have to do is give my dad uh, a measurement of length on the bottom and using the patterns he can do the rest without having to do any finicky work uh, so that's how we're able to do it so quickly it's a great system and it works well so uh, we're gonna head on to the other ones and the great thing about these patterns is that uh, we can flip them once we get to the uh, higher part here the middle section so this is for the left side but if I flip it 180 degrees it actually works perfectly for the angle above. Two patterns for the price of one. And uh, so this should go quite quickly for us today. The gables have now been cladded. Now, when my dad and I first began filling in these gables, I had a lot of people ask me why we didn't just make our own windows and put those in the gables instead. Because of course, it would have let in a lot of natural lighting to light this cabin during the day. And I do agree with that. And it's a, actually a reason why I was seriously considering putting windows in because I wanted that natural lighting. But ultimately, I'm glad we chose to go with the cedar siding. Uh, which is filled with Rockwell insulation between. It has an R value of 14. And that's the main reason why we decided to go this route as opposed to putting in windows is because this is going to do a much better job at holding the heat within the cabin. And although our wood stove downstairs is doing a great job at heating this space, it's producing a lot of heat for us, we want to help the stove out by doing what we can to retain the heat within the cabin. And so that involves insulating the gables, the dormers, the roof, even the floor, uh, we want to hold the heat in as much as possible. And that's what's going to get us through those really cold Canadian nights. 
Another reason why we chose not to install gable windows is because most of our time spent in the cabin will be in the evening. In which case, I'd rather the interior gables reflect the inner warmth of the cabin than to display the outer darkness of night. Plus, it's hard to argue with the rustic charm of cedar lap siding. With the completion of the gables, I packed up my tools and began staging the cabin for my family's arrival. Eventually, the sleeping area will be in the loft, but tonight will be next to the stove. The time had finally come to bring my wife and daughter to the cabin. Let's go get him. Here they are, the two loves of my life, tucked away with me in a warm and cozy pocket of this snowbound woodland.
For the majority of our time together at the cabin, I ended up putting the camera away. Not that there wasn't anything to film, but because I wanted to be present with my family. To see them, not through a lens, but to really see them with my own two eyes. I wanted to soak it all in. So these little snapshots will have to do. We cooked, laughed, and cuddled. We had snowball fights, enjoyed the fire's warmth, and drank lots of hot chocolate. We listened to chickadees, chased each other around the cabin, and explored the surrounding forest together. We talked about my plans for the cabin interior, and about the future in general. <laughs> there are just some moments that can't be captured on camera, only lived, and that's exactly what we did. Until next time, my friends, stay safe, be well, and God bless.